Farzad's Barber Shop. Farzad Salehi has been a barber for 28 years, and his shop in Yaletown, which he owns with his wife Shelly, is a point of pride. Their mom and pop barber shop opened in 2006, long before it was trendy to be a barber. When we opened here, uh, nobody else was opening a barber shop. It was all unisex salons, and even some of Farzad's former co workers in places that he worked before in hair salons. They were all saying, you know, why are you opening a barber shop? Why don't you open, you know, hire somebody to do women's hair? And, uh, and he said, well, I'm a barber. That's what I do. <laughs> the Salehis have seen the barber shop trend take off in the last few years, and they don't worry it will hurt their business. They believe the trend makes the trade more popular. People say barber shops are coming back. I always tell them, where did they go? They never went anywhere. We've been around for hundreds and thousands of years, maybe. Who knows? We've been around ever since people cut their hair. To Salehi, barbering isn't a lifestyle. It's a trade. It's like carpentering. You can't just start cutting wood because it's cool and, and say I'm a carpenter. You gotta know how to cut wood. Barber & Co. right down the street does offer a modern take on the traditional shop. They opened three years ago and although they may have traditional decor, their services go beyond a cut and shave. You need to be diverse in all your haircuts. You need to almost have an element of hairdressing to come into barbering nowadays. Vanderhoek wants men to have a place to be men with other men. The so-called lumber sexual can have all his beard needs met. I do feel the barbershop is a sacred place amongst men. I think it's, you know, in this day and age, there's so few places for men to be men. And this is one of those, it's, it's, it's a safe place. It's a safe place for men to be. Well, gentlemen, whether you go in for traditional or trendy, there are definitely perks to both. Sarah Morton in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.